Cat. It's Maximus here, this time with a review of Viver's Drain Auger. This is their commercial style drain auger, and this is a promotional product. They did send it to me without charge, although I'm not financially sponsored. Do appreciate them sending this to me. Overall, it seems okay. It is a bit, these are a bit cheaper from Viver than they are for the commercial brands. Maybe not quite as good a quality, but so far as compared to other tools, Things like these drain augers, even ones that aren't the premium brands, can easily pay themselves off pretty quickly when you consider the cost of a plumber. Now these commercial ones are a cart-based system. This one I happen to get is a half inch by 100 foot. 100 feet is a bit long for half inch cable. What you have is you have different diameter cables that come through here. The bigger they are, the tougher and clogs that they can clear out, but the more rigid they are. So a half inch cable is like a nice balance between being able to clear out pretty tough clogs but not being like three quarter inch or one inch or even larger cables which are really rigid and are only really meant for you know basically like sewer drains clean outs going right to the street a half inch is a bit rigid to go through the s traps that say would be under your sink so you might have to remove the s trap if the clog is beyond the s trap itself but then it's going to offer enough rigidity to clear it out just about any kind of clog I opted once again for the half inch because it seems if I'm going to get be offered one of these machines, I'm going to get one of the ones with a larger cable. They do have a 3 8 cable. They do have a 3 quarter inch one, although it wasn't in stock. This machine, as the half inch 100 foot, is 450 bucks on Amazon with free shipping. And it is actually surprisingly enough shipped and socked by Amazon themselves probably do the size and weight. So a machine like this is 100 feet. They do have open cage ones which just have metal bars that go over and a lot of people like those better in this case i really wanted one which has this power feed head which makes me working with these machines a lot easier to deal with and that's exactly what it is this cable actually is a steel cable with a steel spiral uh, wrap around it that spiral wrap this is a special kind of screw head essentially it's reversible and allows you to either Right now it's in the neutral position, but it allows it to, as this drum is rotating, in this case this direction, allows it to power feed the cable out or in. And really that's the big deal. This makes it a lot easier to use, otherwise you manually have to force the cable. One thing I'll mention, you may notice, like on some rental machines, they do come with springs that are kind of like this that are over the front that kind of help manage the cable so you are supposed to have this machine as close to the drain access as possible but then they have this kind of spring that or proboscis elephant's trunk that kind of help keep the cable a little bit under control although uh, I do know uh, actually a couple people who have done professional plumbing and what they've said is these proboscis can be handy in some situations but many times they end up causing more interference than help. This Viver actually didn't come with one, but it does have the ability to mount one on there. The reason that those can become troublesome is when, if you have a real tough clog, as the cable is feeding out, when it hits that clog, if you're just holding the cable by hand, it will start to bend and loop out, and you can easily feel uh, that it's binding, and you quickly reverse it and then go back and forth repeatedly uh, hitting the clog. With those spiral elephant's trunks, it's what ends up happening is the table can starts binding and twisting up inside the drum, and a lot more tension builds up that way. It's not as easy to feel when the cable is actually hitting a clog, is how it's been explained to me. This one, now these machines are pretty standard. They have a induction motor on it, and this time, in this case, it's a half horsepower motor. Seems overall built pretty well, except for. With many Chinese products, they didn't use very good fastener, so I had to spend some money upgrading the stainless steel. They had stainless steel, they are like screws, so I upgraded stainless steel bolts there, here, on the back of the drum back here. Several places where I did upgrade it, just because this is used in a wet environment. Other things are more proper. The feed head seems nice. It does use a pneumatic switch instead of actual wire and cable, so this is just a little air bladder that connects to a switch in the control box. It is reversible, although you always run these in forward direction and then you use the 
feed head to run in and out, but if you the cable gets totally jammed and you can run it backwards, but that can cause twisting inside the drum. That's why they have an arrow and why you're always supposed to run them in a forward direction. Pretty simple because it's just an induction motor and just a V-belt that runs around the back of the drum. There's a little stanchion where you adjust the tension. It doesn't require much tension because there's a whole bunch of surface area. Eight inch casters with ball bearings, very simple ball bearings, but at least it rolls pretty easy, especially considering this 100 pound unit. Anyway, I guess the biggest drawback of this is this front lid or front half of the drum wasn't put on particularly straight. It's good enough. These machines are kind of wobbly to, in general to begin with. And so the deal is, is that you have a foot switch that you can easily turn it on and off with while you're managing the cable. Should mention it does come with a variety of accessories here. We have our standard like twist bit. You have this kind of butterfly bit. I believe the tang width is relatively standard so you can get better or different types of attachments. You have this kind of wedge bit. They call these root cutters, although a half inch cable would have a hard time. These bits right here are really for when you have like really tough clogs and a little metal box to keep it in. As far as running the unit, it's pretty simple. When you want to go, in this case, I should say the on these feed heads, they're not always the same. In this one, you happen to lift up to go forwards and push down to go in reverse. You do have a tensioner here, but it's pretty simple. You'd engage that and it starts to feed the cable out and you'll want to wear gloves so a lot of people wear nitrile gloves with le le uh, leather gloves over the top of them and you'd feed it out and if you hit a jam you'll see that you'll feel the cable kind of bind, bind up and that's when you just reverse it pull it back and then go forward again and repeatedly hit the clogs the nice thing about this style of feed head is that when you're done, it will draw it back into the machine. Makes it a lot easier to deal with, even though it can be uh, just a bit slow and cumbersome. It's a lot easier than trying to do it manually. And that's really the big deal about these feed heads. It's just the fact that when you have a clog, and especially when it's pretty far down, maybe you're in the upstairs and the clog is, you know, somewhere under the house, that's one of the reasons I got the hundred foot. Is you did it's if you don't have a, if you get a fifty foot and you just the clogs beyond fifty feet, then there's nothing you can do. It's better to have one that's way too long because obviously if the clog's only fifteen feet away, then you only need to use fifteen feet of cable. But it's nice to have the available extra length. But the, once again, the feed head just makes it so much easier to deal with. Um, it's nice that you can have a neutral position with it. That way you can just have it in one position when you're kind of making sure everything's ready to go. But the real issue is just trying, with the manual ones, is just trying to grab the cable and push it down into the pipe. Um, push it against the clog really gets tiresome. These feed heads really make a, uh, a pretty big difference. I believe on some, this one isn't a clutch type so some of them actually allow you just to yank the cable this one won't you have to use the the um it just makes it a lot easier to deal with just being able to have this i mean it does it does push with quite a bit of force now if you really hit a, a jam it will kind of slow down a little bit but it's not really too bad Still will push it out. What ends up happening is the spiral over wrap kind of acts as a spring. And you have all the coil that's wrapped up in the drum itself. So it's kind of, you know, overall these aren't as rigid as you think. So when it's pushing against the clog, um, it will kind of want to, I guess, slip a little bit, and maybe that's just a function of maybe a slightly lesser ver this version versus some other ones which are very rigid and will really force. This one, when you hit a clog, it will start to either bind up the cable or if it's really close to the opening, it will actually uh, not feed, which is kind of odd.
but that's part of the function of once again this tension is you can just really increase a lot of tension and it'll be less likely to slip that's kind of the whole point of the thing anyway enough talking about this I think overall um, even though it's expensive unit once again if you're in a place where you maybe have basement drains or something that relatively regularly clog you know how much money you spent on a plumber and so that's kind of the reason I got this machine not just to be able to deal with clogs help friends out loan it out but to also just mention that if you've had regular clogs then you know how much money that you've spent on a plumber and so one of these machines you could just think within a you know six uses a half a dozen times surprisingly enough even a big one like this it's like 450 bucks for the hundred foot by half inch could easily pay itself off you know and less than a dozen uses or you know some plumbers you know, you're put on talking two or three hundred dollars to clean a uh, a serious clog and so once that happens the machines already paid itself off and so they're actually as far as so many tools that I've reviewed one of these even for a homeowner can be surprisingly justifiable and some people don't have much issues but some people um, you know multiple times a year they end up with serious clogs that they have to call a plumber over and so a machine like this might be a nice viable economic option which also means not even even though it's a, this would be like a lower quality unit it doesn't have to you know go on perform thousands of jobs it can pay itself off just performing a few dozen jobs anyway Really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. See you next time.